Okay, we'll call the regular city council meeting Monday, April 30, 2018, order. Quick call the roll, please. Alderman Puttoff. Here. Ferrari. Here. Waldorf. Here. Lacocious. Here. Radke. Here. Sapienza. Payton. Here. Ballard. Merrill. I pledge to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, any public comment on any of the agenda items? No card, Your Honor. Okay, no presentation. Do we have a motion to receive the minutes placed on file? It's so moved, Your Honor. Second. Who was the second from? Okay, we have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by aye. Aye. All opposed, motion carried. We have a motion to receive the financial reports in place on file. So moved, Your Honor. Second. We have a motion to receive the financial reports placed on file. Is there any discussion? Uh, Your Honor, I want to point out for the month of January, the city sales tax is up $66,171 from the previous year. Uh, so the city did receive 783 thousand dollars in sales tax compared to seven hundred seventeen thousand so that was a I, I think a very positive point for the city and that's even with the extra two percent being taken out there, there's supposed to be legislation put on the floor to decrease that by half and then there's also some talk down there right now that uh, to put it all back to where it was at ten percent so we'll see what happens any other discussion on financial reports? All in favor signify by aye. Aye. All opposed, motion carried. Uh, no activity reports, finance safety service, Chairman Puttoff? Uh, disbursements, Alderman Radke. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, total disbursements to be paid on May 2nd, 2018, is $1,453,767.11. I move that this report I have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? I have a roll call. Quick call roll, please. Alderman Puttoff. Aye. Ferrari. Aye. Waldorf. Aye. Precocious. Aye. Radke. Aye. Payton. Aye. Ballard. Aye. Motion approved. Anything further from finance? No, Your Honor. Okay, well, public services, Chairman Waldorf. Uh, yes, sir. Um, there's one motion um, on the public services agenda. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the sidewalk up at Veterans uh, Park around the concession stand um, is in pretty, uh, pretty, pretty much disrepair. So uh, the motion is to uh, approve sidewalk repairs at Veterans Park in the amount of $9,842 uh, to Lijinsky, uh Cement Finishing. And again, that is a motion. I'll second that. I have a motion and a second to approve sidewalk repairs at Veterans Park. Is there any discussion? Can we have a roll call? Quick call roll. Alderman Puttoff. Aye. Ferrari. Aye. Waldorf. Aye. Lacocious. Aye. Radke. Aye. Payton. Ballard. Aye. Motion approved. Uh, Your Honor, that is all from public services. I okay. See the chief said something. I got one thing. Over in Washington Park also, there's a sidewalk that runs all the way through there. We're going to do that, but we're going to do that one at home. Uh, we'll have a good cost of the task because that's one. It's pretty bad. It is all broke up. But the problem is black top on top of concrete and all the black tops come off. So it's in pretty bad shape. So we're going to get the issues <coughs> here next week. Anything else? Chief Burton, thank you. Eric? No? All right. Nothing more. Thank you. Okay. Report City Attorney Ordinances, Resolutions. Yes, Your Honor. First, I have an ordinance granting the variance under the zoning ordinance of the City of Peru. By a petition of Joshua and Erica Morrissey concerning property located at 2728 Becker Drive, Brew, Illinois. Uh, it's for a home addition, and all approvals have been received from the Zoning Officer, Zoning Board of Appeals Chairman, uh, both aldermen in the ward, and neighbors. Do we have a motion to approve the ordinance as written in red? I have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? I have a roll call. Quick roll roll. Alderman Puttoff. Aye. Ferrari. Aye. Waldorf. Aye. Precocious. Aye. Radke. Aye. Payton. Aye. Ballard. Aye. Motion approved. Next, I have an ordinance authorizing execution of a professional services consulting agreement with Robert F. Vickery doing business as Oval Wacker Consulting. Uh, this is an independent contractor agreement 
or he's generally responsible for his own expenses. Uh, it would be effective May 1st, and uh, it would be for $3,333.33 a month. Your Honor, I will make a motion to receive the ordinance as written and read. Second, Your Honor. I have a motion and second to approve the ordinance as written and read. Is there any discussion? Okay, we'll have a roll call. Quick call roll. Alderman Cutoff? Aye. Ferrari? Aye. Waldorf? Makosius? Radke? Aye. Payton? Aye. Ballard? Aye. Most approved. Next, I have an ordinance granting a variance under the swimming pool ordinance of the City of Peru, and I sought by the petition of Gregory and Gloria Abbott concerning property located at 3035 12th Street, Peru, Illinois, for a swimming pool. I have a motion to approve the ordinance as written and read. So moved, Your Honor. Second, Your Honor. I have a motion and a second to approve the ordinance as written and read. Is there any discussion? I have a roll call. Quick call roll. Alderman oh, Puttoff? Aye. Ferrari? Aye. Waldorf? Aye. Rikosius, Aye. Radke? Aye. Payton? Aye. Ballard? Aye. Motion approved. Next, Your Honor, I have an ordinance authorizing the purchase of 19.106 acres from Highland Park CBS LLC concerning property located at southwest corner of Illinois Route 251 and Shoon Park Road, Peru, Illinois. Uh, just for the record, the fair market value of that property is $1,682,000 and uh, $4 according to the assessor's office and the uh, purchase price for the city is $325,000. I'll make a motion to I'll authorize the ordinance. I'll second. Second, second came from Alderman Waldor. Uh, Your Honor, I'd like to applaud your efforts in working on getting the city uh, the rates of 300 and some thousand for it. You did an enormous amount of effort to get that property get the in the city's hands, and we certainly appreciate it. The other thing that's got a lot of potential, I think, for the city of Peru, one is it can be a possible police station in the future. It can be a possible shared services police station, or it can be used for economic development. I think the potential for development in that area is quite great. It's good to have it in the city's hands, and that way the city will have control of it as compared to leaving an open building that could be possibly used for many other purposes that wouldn't be in the best interest of the city. So, again, I think this is a positive point for the city of Peru, and again, thank you for your work on acquiring the proper property in such a reasonable rate. Is there any other discussion? That, that was one where you were going through the realtors and, and it wasn't working out quite right. So you finally found a way to go directly to CVS. And after we had talks with CVS, things started to happen a little better. And uh, it came from the, the million and a half dollars down to a million dollars. And then with some negotiations, we were down to 325. So it's And again, it's be, 19 acres, so it does have a lot of potential. Yes, it does. It, Let me, it moves a lot faster than things like that normally do. With with a company as large as CVS, it, it moved along pretty good. Once you found the right place to be, that that was the hard part. And when, then once you were there, then it, then it started to happen. So is, is there any other discussion? So we have a roll call, quick call roll. Alderman Puttoff. Aye. Ferrari. Aye. Waldorf. Aye. Lacocious. Aye. Radke. Aye. Payton. Aye. Ballard. Aye. Motion approved. Next, I have an ordinance amending the budget for fiscal year commencing May 1st, 2017 and ending April 30th, 2018, inclusive. I move that we adopt the ordinance. Second, Your Honor. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the ordinance amending the budget for fiscal year commencing May 1 and ending April 30, 2018, inclusive. Is there any discussion on that? Have a roll call, quick call roll. Alderman Puttoff. Aye. Ferrari. Aye. Waldorf. Aye. Lacocious. Aye. Radke. Aye. Payton. Aye. Ballard. Aye. Motion approved. Finally, we have an ordinance approving the budget for fiscal year from May 1st, 2018 to April 30, 2019, both inclusive. I make a motion that the budget be adopted. I'll second. I have a motion and a second to adopt the ordinance as written and read. Is there any discussion? Like one, I'd sign up here that comes to me after the meeting, and I'd be happy to email to them first thing in the morning. Once again, is, is Alderman Puttoff had the rundown of, of the amount of money that we're investing in our infrastructure and everywhere else in the city, plus putting money away in our reserves. 
and something to be pretty proud of. So we have a motion, we have a second. If there's no further discussion, we'll have a roll call, quick call the roll. Alderman Penna. Aye. Ferrari. Aye. Waldorf. Aye. Lacocious. Aye. Radke. Aye. Payton. Aye. Ballard. Aye. Motion approved. Nothing further. Okay. Uh, Clerk Bartley, do you have? <clears throat> okay, we have a proclamation for Abate Motorcycle Awareness Month, May 2018, where safety is the highest priority for highways and streets of our city and state and all, motor, all motorcyclists should join Abate of Illinois is active, due to its active promotion of the safe operation of motorcycles as well as promoting motorcycle safety. Therefore, as mayor of the city of Peru in the great state of Illinois in recognition of 31 years of Abate, the Illinois of Illinois incorporated in over 676,000 registered motorcyclists statewide and in recognition of the continued role Illinois serves the leader in motorcycle safety education and awareness. We do declare the month of May as Motorcycle Awareness Month. Do we have a motion to receive and place on file? So moved. In a second? Second. One favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, and then we have two gentlemen here from the Coast Guard. We have Daryl Hafner which just, just raised his hand. Daryl came in tonight from Plainfield, and we have Jim Plunkett. And uh, he's, what team did you play for, Jim? <laughs> he, gets, he gets that all the time from, from Downers Grove, and, and Jim, Jim has ties to a lot, Illinois. So they're here for, for the National Safe Boating Week, May 19th through 25th, 2018. Recre recreational boating is fun and enjoyable, and we are fortunate that we have sufficient resources to accommodate the wide variety of pleasure boating demands. However, our waterways can become crowded at times and be a place of chaos and confusion. While being a marvelous source of recreation, boating to the unprepared can be a risky sport. Not knowing or obeying the navigation rules or nautical rules of the road, drinking alcohol or taking drugs while operating a boat, or choosing not to wear your life jacket when doing so is clearly not the smart thing to do are all examples of human error or a lack of proper judgment. One particular behavior that can reduce the number of boaters who lose their lives by drowning each year by approximately 80% is the wearing of a life jacket. It is a simple task that has the potential to reduce terrible loss in lives. On average, 700 people die each year in boating-related accidents in the U.S. Approximately 70% of these fatalities are caused by drowning in accidents which are human error and poor judgment. Whereas a significant number of boaters who lose their lives by dawning each year would be alive today if they had worn their life jacket. Therefore, I, Scott Howell, do hereby support the goals of the North American Safe Boating Campaign and proclaim May 19th through 25th, 2018, a National Safe Boating Week and the start of the year-round effort to promote safety boating. So I urge all those who boat to wear it, your life jacket, and practice safe boating habits. Do we have a motion to receive the proclamation and place on file? So moved, Your Honor. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor signify by aye. Aye. All opposed? Aye. Motion, motion carried. And, and uh, Daryl and, and Jim, thank you for coming all the way down to, to see this, this red. It, it's very important what, what, this, what this proclamation says. So do we have any other proclamation? No, Your Honor. Okay, none. Do we have any unfinished business? None. Do we have any new business? Okay, we have, I'm looking for a motion for the reappointment of Roloff Loveland to the Board of Fire and Police Commissioners for a three-year term ending April 30, 2021. Uh, Mr. Loveland has been on the Fire and Police Commissioners for, I believe, 15 years, and uh, he, he's asking said he would, would enjoy to serve another term as, uh, on, the, on the board. So moved, Your Honor. I'll second that, Your Honor. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? We'll have a roll call, quick call the roll. Alderman Putoff. Aye. Ferrari. Aye. Waldorf. Aye. Lacocious. Aye. Radke. Aye. Payton. Aye. Ballard. Aye. Motion approved. 
Do we have a motion for the reappointment of Linda Druzinski to the Park and Recreation Board for a five-year term expiring May 2023? Do I have a motion? No motion at this time? I'll make a motion, Your Honor. <laughs> Okay, we have a motion and a second to, for the reappointment of Linda Druszynski to the Parks and Recreation Board for a five-year term expiring May 2023. Is there any discussion? Have a roll call. Quick call the roll. Alderman Puttoff. Aye. Ferrari. Aye. Waldorf. Aye. McCautious. Aye. Radke. Aye. Peyton. Aye. 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 Motion approved. Okay, petitions, communications. Uh, yes, Your Honor, I'm going to take these a little bit out of, out of order tonight, but the first one is a communication from the Bridgeview Veterinary Hospital seeking variances for the property located at 1016 7th Street. Your Honor, this is in my ward. It's the, the new uh, veterinary clinic over there. They put a lot of money into this, and they're looking to put a digital, there was a big billboard there you could see off of 251. And my personal opinion, opinion is this is a no-brainer. I realize this is an electric sign. We have sign ordinance containing this. This should go to Eric and, and should be done. I mean, it's not affecting anyone. But if we need a motion to go there, I will make that motion. I just wanted to let everyone know how I felt on the sign ordinance number one and, and having to go to a committee where Eric could do it and when the sign could go up tomorrow. Thank you. I guess I question the city attorney, what is the proper protocol for that? I have to see the uh, communication. Why are they trying to do the sign? Is it existing already? No, there was a big two billboard signs. Uh, Eric's got the details. Yeah. Uh, first, I'll provide a little bit of detail of what I have so far. Um, there is an existing old paper style billboard. They're looking to remove that billboard and construct uh, one of the new LED billboards, changeable message board. Uh, with the changes that were made to our sign ordinance a few years back, uh, we don't permit that, uh, nor do we permit the advertising of uh, other businesses other than your own. So there are certain variances to that new sign ordinance that they would need in order to construct this uh, type of billboard. Do they need a text amendment to the, or the zoning ordinance, or is there? I don't believe so because it, um, it should be classified as a changeable message board. We don't have a, a designation for billboard. I mean, this, this is even an area where if the city needed to post something, I mean, it's I, it's great where it's at. So this affect any of the residents? No, I, I've requested from them an illumination plan. Um, and the lumens at the perimeter of the property are shown as zero. Um, so we've requested a, a bunch of data from them uh, to this point. So. We have a motion from Alderman Ferrari and no second. I would second it. Okay, we have a motion in a, in a second. And we'll... we'll place on file and refer to the planning zoning for review and recommendation. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by aye. aye. All opposed? Motion carried. Uh, next we have a communication from uh, Julie Wendorf on behalf of Buddy's Purpose requesting permission of the 7th Annual Overdose Awareness and Memory Walk on August 25th and that's at Baker Lake. We have a motion to receive. So moved, Your Honor. Second, Your Honor. Have a motion to receive, place on file, and grant permission. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by aye. Aye. All opposed, motion carried. Next, we have a communication from Drew Folletti requesting permission to hold a toy run through the city of Peru on October 7th and asking for police assistance. This is a toy run that starts over in uh, at uh, the motorcycle shop at the top of the hill there, uh, blue collar bikes that runs through Peru and through LaSalle. So they're looking a little for a little assistance along Route 6. 
um, and they have some time, so I'll forward it along to the PD. Okay, we have a motion to receive, place on file, and grant permission, and then they can do their, their homework through the police department to set that up. We have a, who, who made the motion? Alderman Payton? I'll second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? All in favor, signify by aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carried. Next, Your Honor, I have a communication from the Pru Veterans Memorial Group requesting permission to hold the Memorial Day services on Monday, 20, May 28th at 11 a.m. at Washington Park, and also a $600 donation to replace broken flag holders and replace new flags on the graves of deceased veterans. Your Honor, I will make a motion <clears throat> that we accept the communication and grant permission. Se I have a motion and a second to receive the communication and grant permission for the Memorial Day presentation by the Pru Veterans Group at 11 a.m. in Washington Park. Is there any discussion? All in favor, signify by aye. Aye. All opposed? Aye. Motion carried. Uh, finally, Your Honor, I have a communication from the uh, Pru Veterans Memorial Group. It's their 2017 annual report. During the uh, year of 2017, the Pru Veterans Memorial Group reported for duty 36 times 25 veteran burials were conducted at the request of their families. The remaining 11 callouts were as follows. On April 29th, 17, callers were presented for past Commander Jerry Welsh at the Pru Eagles on his and his wife's 90th birthdays. There was a flag presentation at the Pru Airport for the TBM Avenger event, a rededication at the Zion Church, which are prayed each Memorial Day guard uh, for the guard, um, the Memorial Day service, a Flag Day retirement, Northview School flag, flag presentation, Veterans Day, 11 a.m. Washington Park, full military honors. The Pearl Harbor Memorial Service at the South, South Shore Boat Club. Uh, City of Peru flag raising for the Illinois flag for the 200th birthday. And the American Legion gifts to the Yanks passed out 180 free jogging suits and lap blank, blankets to all the veterans at the Veterans Home. There are currently 19 active members serving in the Peru Veterans Memorial Group. Finally, I will read the names of the deceased, 25 deceased veterans for 2017. Uh, Chester Wasik, Dennis Giardini, Floyd Danicus, Ronald Joyner, Raymond Augustiniak, John Kurtz, James Jim Pawanski, Thomas Shevlin, Richard Benvenuti, Robert Pierski, Robert Fahman, Terry Lowry, Louis Olivero, John Simsich, Stephen Nemeth, Theodore Buck Gapinski, Bruce Etheridge, Don Leninger, Jean Fee, Donald Andrews, Edward Krolak, Malcolm Mac Billard, and Jean Kopchinski, Robert Metz, and Robert Marcelli. This report is respectfully submitted. Robert and Kalitz, Jr., Commander. At this time, uh, Alderman Waldorf will say a few words. Thank you. Uh, this morning we lost uh, one of our own, um, Robert Ankiewicz, Alderman, ex-Alderman Robert Ankiewicz, uh, senior, died this morning at the age of 72. Uh, Bob was an Alderman from 1999 to 2013 and was also a downtown business owner, um, Ankiewicz's deli, where a lot of different business took place. Um, Bob was a Navy veteran and a, re a recruiter. Um, after his career, he was a, a veterans advocate and a, and a strong one. Uh, Bob served on the Finance Committee for the City of Peru and the Public Works Committee. And he was a member of the Peru Veterans Memorial Group, uh, also a member of the VFW. I was very proud of the Pearl Harbor 
um, Bay Parade, which uh, the city is committed to continuing. And he was the leader of the Memorial Day uh, ceremony. Uh, Bob was my friend. Uh, when I first uh, became an alderman, he took me under his wing and showed me what to do and sometimes what not to do. But it was always uh, educational and he taught me a lot and I will miss him. He was my friend, he was our friend, and he was definitely a friend to the city of Peru. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Waldorf. Okay, what I'd like to do then is stand in a moment of silence for all the names read. All right, so that ends the petitions and communications. Yes, Your Honor. Public comment. Do we have any public comment? No public comment. That's that's why to to uh, to Daryl and Jim. That's why I came back and I asked if you were from from the the, the Navy because we we lost. Uh, he was an alderman here, as as Alderman Waller said, from 1999 till 2013. And, and he was he was a Navy guy, and when I saw you come in with the uniforms, I thought, well, they're they're here to say a few things. But you're at the Coast Guard, and you're here for the proclamation. So, anyway, do we have any public comment then at this time? Anybody? Claudia, Daryl, Jim, Don, nobody. Okay, no closed session. We have a motion to adjourn. I have a motion and a second. All in favor signify by aye. Aye. All opposed? Meeting adjourned.